he's on the roof. Come on, boy. No more chains. Trying to see how we can empower communities in uh, protecting or promoting chimpanzees and their habitats in, uh, in Sierra Leone. And also trying to see how we can spread out the message of protecting our wildlife and also uh, the environment for the good health of the people. Chimpanzees are actually going through the corridors, building nests, and doing other activities, feeding on on crops. You really see, yeah, the baby at the back, and the mom looking at the camera. <laughs> it's really amazing. Our next step is to establish how they are using this landscape, and in collaboration with the communities, developing a corridor to connect these two different forests for the chimpanzees. The corridors is actually going through streams. In those areas, water or having portable water is a key challenge to those communities. And if we use the, the corridor going through streams, we can protect those water and they can have a very good portable water to drink in those environments. Our main focus is how we can encourage these communities to come in uh, in reforesting uh, the deforested areas or planting more trees that are more valuable to them and also useful for the chimps. Letting them know it's their responsibility to reforest their area or to protect the environment for their good and the better good of the apes. Well, our local people in this environment they depend on their traditional herbs and there are a lot of herbs in those areas that the people can use for different medications. So that is also one benefit that the community themselves can get and gradually they are understanding what are some of the benefits because it's a new idea and we need to let them understand what's the whole concept and what's the benefit or value behind that. Because protecting the environment for chimpanzee, as you can only protect chimps, but there are other mammals that can also benefit, and even humans can benefit from that. When we went there, I spoke with the local communities, and uh, there was a lot of good ideas from them. Hello, how are you? Our next step is actually to try and uh, also educate more people and uh, try and see how we can uh, regrow or reforest that particular environment so it can be very suitable for the wildlife, especially chimpanzees, and, and also look into ecotourism, which can be a very good uh, uh, benefit or value to the community. So that's our next plan, you know, trying to get more information on the environment and see how we can validate and present that to the local people. This place has a very viable population of chimps and all the wildlife and also the habitat is really good and rich. So uh, in reaching all uh, the goals, uh, it all depends on funding and how we can uh, see uh, and establish a very good or sustainable community project in those environments.